In looking around the internet to see if, or see how many replications or what people were saying about what I show, uh, I saw one site, and if someone knows who it is, or if he's watching my videos, if he send me an email, let me know where his site is again. I thought it was the Tin Man or Tinner Man or something like that. And he showed where he was building a loop using inductors to uh, cause a phase shift, which he called a standing wave. Okay, here. <clears throat> Here's definitely a standing wave. Here I have the one lead out of the generator. I go into this loop. Let me turn this light up ways a little bit so that you can actually see the loop. I have an inductor here, which resonates at a specific frequency. I come down here to a diode, which hooks over to this coil, which has a different frequency. And here is another diode right here. And here is an LED, and I have it covered because I know what it's going to do to the camera. And so here I come around with the clip lead. And I go into, guess what? This coil here is indeed the one that's feeding the back of this scree board. This right here is going into this point to pick off the resonance and a similar coil. And what is changing this and causing it to do what it's doing is this freak this frequency here is a multiple of this one okay so you can see what's happening with with the Cree board let's take a look at that LED now I'll tell you right off the bat my input is exactly 10 volts I'm only putting 10 volts peak to peak in here from the signal generator now let me take this off and show you the LED. Look at that guy. Where is that current coming from? Wouldn't you ask? Let's go back here. You, you, you all remember these little things that we used when we were with the Sec Exciter. There, there, it's an AV plug to an LED with just a tip of wire on the end for probing things. Let me put it right here on the output of the generator. And as you see, there's a little light, but not very much. So that's the generator output. We go down here. Uh, let me cover him up again. He's going to just do nothing but cause trouble with this. That guy is being so overdriven. It's pathetic. Uh, don't want to cooperate, does it? They never do, you know. If you do this without being on camera, it works every time. The minute you go on camera, it quits working. Okay, so we see that at this point, the junction of where these two coils connect with the single output from the generator, we don't see any. There's absolutely nothing on that LED. Okay, we come down here to where the inductor that goes into the Cree board connects, and we touch it, and we just see a little bit again. Nothing like, nothing like what you would expect. We'll come down here on the opposite side of this diode, which is hooked to this coil here, and we will see that we have very little light from that diode. Let's go down here to this diode, which is hooked into this coil, and also feeds back to the bottom ring of this. So let me go and touch it here, and it's pretty feeble right there. Okay, so we have a super white lead here. I'll bend it back up out of the way. And there's what we've got from the super white lead. And here's
here's what we've got from the Cree board. Now this is indeed a combination of the current loop and standing wave. Which is which? <laughs>